greetings and happy holidays from all of us here at Cordell and Cordell. We all know that the holidays can be filled with joy, laughter, and it's a time to spend with family and friends. However, if you are a separated or divorced parent, the holidays can be especially difficult and challenging when trying to coordinate parenting time. And it can be difficult for you as a parent knowing that for part of that time, you may not get to spend time with your children. I wanted to provide you with some advice and some tips today to help you get through the holidays and make it as enjoyable as possible for both you and your children. One of the most common problems or mistakes that parents make during the holidays is they wait until the very last minute to say, hey, who's going to go to grandma's house at mom's side of the family for Christmas? Or dad says, hey, I'd really like to take the kids to my uncle's house for Christmas evening. Would that be okay? If you have a parent who doesn't want to cooperate with you, this is not going to be easy. So one of the first things you'll need to do is make sure that you review your current parenting time order or that you review the agreement that you have in place with the other parent. The second common problem that a lot of parents make is they aren't flexible. They are not willing to make adjustments due to travel time, to weather, so you really need to kind of factor these things in when you're trying to figure out who's going to have the kids where and when. If you're both traveling to different locations, are you going to meet at the exit off of I-65? Or are you going to meet at the exit off of I-70? Do you know what place you're going to meet at that exit? So again, it is really important that you communicate as much as possible in advance to nail down specific dates, times, locations to make any travel arrangements as seamless and easy as possible. One of the other common problems that parents make during the holidays is after they get the children back from them spending time with mom, for example, they'll say, well, what, what happened at mom's house? What did you guys do? What did she say about me? You really want to avoid interrogating your children and asking them about what happened at mom's house. Make sure that you make the most of your time with the kids. If something happened at mom's house that they want to tell you about, they probably will eventually, as long as you seem open and willing to communicate with them. And so you won't really need to worry so much about what happened at mom's house. Also, if you're constantly asking about what happened at mom's house, the kids are going to feel that tension and could get a little stressed out because they're not sure if they should be saying, well, grandma had a little too much eggnog that night. Um, or if they can talk about, you know, I really had a great time. I got that Barbie doll that I had always wanted or I got a PlayStation. So you really want to make sure that you're supportive of your children, you're supportive of the time that they're spending with the other parent, and that you are making the most of your time with the kids. Now, another common mistake that parents can make during the holidays is getting into the mindset where everything has to be the same as it was when both parents were living in the same household. Obviously, when you're separated, that might not always be able to happen, depending on what your parenting time order states or your parenting time agreement states. So one of the important things that you can do as a parent is make sure that you're building and creating new family holiday traditions. If you always wanted to have pizza for dinner on Christmas and didn't want to go through all that hassle of baking a turkey, have pizza. I'm sure the kids will love it, and they'll be happy that they created this new family memory with you. I wish you all the best, safe and happy travels, and thank you very much from Cordell and Cordell.